Last week in Eureka, California, this dog in the local paper's newsroom seemed to know something was coming long before his owner did, a full six seconds before an earthquake hit. Unfortunately, that's about as good as short-term earthquake forecasting gets. We cannot predict earthquakes in the way the public would like us to predict earthquakes. For decades, scientists have been focusing on long-term forecasts, successfully measuring the probability that certain fault lines around the world will erupt. California could be next. It's been 300 years since a major quake rocked the southern portion of the San Andreas Fault near Los Angeles. Scientists here believe there's a 99.7% chance that a 6.7 or greater earthquake could hit Southern California in the next 30 years. 1,800 people will die. But when is the big question? Short-term prediction is the elusive holy grail of earthquake science. In April 2009, a major earthquake in Italy was preceded by a series of small earthquakes, known as foreshocks. But that doesn't always mean a big one is coming. We can't tell when small earthquakes are foreshocks or when they're just a part of uh, background seismic activity. Scientists have also studied hydroelectric activity and tidal movements with limited success. Now new research using GPS sensors is focused below plates and fault lines to see if tremors closer to the Earth's core lead to quakes on the surface. Scientists in Texas used that technology in 2008 to predict that Haiti's fault line was primed for a major earthquake. The GPS data allows the type of forecasting of, of where these large earthquakes might occur. But until detection technology improves, preparation is still the best defense. Buildings in the U.S. must be designed to withstand major seismic events. Unfortunately, Hades are not. It's really not the earthquake that's killing the people. It's the buildings that fail, that fall down on people, that cause uh, most of the casualties. And as we saw this week, that destruction still comes without much warning. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.